A couple of crazy stories here, so we're going to start with this one first and foremost. Transgender cheerleader booted from college denies physical altercation. Yes, dude beat somebody up on the cheer team and uh, doesn't want to take responsibility for it. Really fitting into that feminine role just a little bit too well. Just need to work on that physical appearance. Well, yeah, as you can see, Lord have mercy, just... Also, okay, like, the face is shocking to begin with, okay, because he's at least 25 shades lighter than the rest of his body, and uh, those shoulders, man, you can try as hard as you want to be a woman, but oh my lord, those are fucking linebacker shoulders, dude, that's, that's tough shit, okay. Transgender cheerleader kicked out of a Texas college for allegedly choking a teammate denies that there was any physical altercations and intends to sue... Hmm, guess you're not on hormone blockers. Uh, Avery Chanel, of course, a red flag, another one, in case you needed that. Medlock, 25? Why the fuck are you in college at 25, okay? And why are you getting into all this fuck shit at 25? That doesn't make any sense. Insisted her side, let's fucking drop the pretense. Uh, side of the story wasn't heard before she was slapped with a $500 criminal citation for choking a bitch? What the fuck? And Wayne Brady is on life support right now and kicked off her cheer team for allegedly assaulting another cheerleader on July 21st at Ranger College. There was no physical contact at all, Medlock told the Post during a phone interview on Monday. I was just trying to talk it out as an adult. That bitch wouldn't fucking pay attention. Medlock, whose legal name is Chevry Chanel Satchel. All right, or Avery, you know, whatever. It's fucking, if you're gonna transition, Christ, pick a more linguistically appealing name. Claims her teammate, uh, Carly Jones, got upset when she refused to buy her a vape. What? Medlock went on to Carly's room to apologize, but an argument ensued rather than an assault, as alleged, she recalled. This is interesting how this plays out, because that's some degree of assault or battery, depends on the verbiage. It would be battery in Texas, okay? Because you have a tranny on one end, and then you got a, a lying college girl on the other, okay? Just goes to show you where on the progressive stack, okay, justice decides the favor, okay? Really looks like, okay, unless there's a mark on the record against uh, this former cheerleader. That's about the nicest thing I could say. I've got an entire quiver for full of arrows when it comes to insult, but we'll keep it above board for a second before we get into the more funny pictures, okay? I can only hold them in for so long. But I just want to know. I just want to know what's more sturdy, that brick wall or that dude's shoulders, okay? And again, we're just going to slow roll. Take a look right at the bottom of the screen there. Okay, that's another picture. Okay, of the same person, okay? That looks like your bog standard white woman. Or it could be a mix. It could be a Latina mix, okay? If you were taking a look at it. But then the entire illusion is completely ruined, okay? Not even... <laughs> Take a look at that fucking torso, of all things, okay? We already remarked on the shoulders, okay? Obviously at the bottom of the pyramid. But those legs, too, those are... Uh, come on, fuck it. Do we have to continue this charade at this point, okay? That is a dude who wanted to be a part of the football team so fucking bad, okay? It was probably a little bit too short to compete at cornerback, but just decided, oh, fuck this shit. I'm gonna be the bottom of the fucking pyramid. I'm gonna show those boys what they be missing. Medlock's teammate then called her father, who called the police, she said. Yeah, oh my god, this dude assaulted me. Yeah, no shit. Uh, the athlete said uh, she was then escorted off university grounds and booted from Ranger College cheer team. Uh, she now plans to sue the school for discrimination and is currently searching for an attorney. Okay, yeah, this could work out incredibly weirdly, okay? And Christ almighty, if that skirt was any shorter, we'd still figure out if you were post or pre-op. But it's interesting. What are we going to find here? Because mostly the word of a woman on a college campus, oh boy, that is good as the summoning by the executioner in revolutionary France. Or are you going to side with a biological dude who has a bit of a head trauma issue? This will be interesting to see, okay? Because of the absurdity of this case, I'd like to be able to follow along a little bit closer. The athlete said she... Oh, right, I already read that. And she's not an athlete, she's a fucking cheerleader. At best, at best. There should have been a meeting with me, Medlock said, after being tossed after the allegation. There was no questions asked. Coach didn't even get to hear my side of the story. Yeah, I thought you could get out from underneath that fucking rock now, didn't you, when you decided to put on a skirt? Messages seeking comment from Ranger College cheerleading coach Nicole Turner and university officials were not immediately returned. If I've 
Oh, if I would have assaulted her, I would be in jail. Still, I don't, I don't think there's any hormone blockers going on here. Listen, if I would have punched that bitch, would have left a fucking dent. However, Eastland County District Attorney Brad Stevenson said that there was an assault, and he believes that the cops handled the incident appropriately by issuing a citation akin to a speeding ticket or running a stop sign. Yeah, no, of course, running a speeding, oh, yeah. Speeding, running a stop sign, parking violation, choking a bitch. It's all in the same bucket, right? Fucking Christ. Uh, definitely an assault, and it could have been ostensibly been charged as a Class A misdemeanor. But I think it was appropriately charged as a Class C misdemeanor. Okay. Stephenson said that the office has requested all video footage of the altercation. Ooh, that would really tell a couple of things. Police department typically didn't, oh, don't produce reports on Class C misdemeanor assault, according to district attorney. No. Oh. Had Medlock been charged with... <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Well, let's just roll that back up here for a second, because I got one last thing to say on this, because this is just fucking absurd. Had Medlock been charged with a misdemeanor assault, would have been faced up to a year in jail and a $4,000 fine, but again, just got off with a simple parking ticket. I believe it was based on the information I had, he said, when asked if Medlock was charged correctly, Ranger Police charged her and further gave her criminal trespass citation that diffused the situation that could have quickly gotten out of hand. Medlock previously told KTAB, uh, KRBC, that she was booted off the team due to Mike Jones, Mike Jones' assumptions of what happened. The first trans cheerleader at Ranger College, yep, yeah, no, even pretend women can't get along with women, ain't that amazing any issue with the identity until Kaylee and her father complained. They knew I was trans. Yeah, no, exactly. And the poor man's Photoshop definitely didn't give it away. Nice tits, bro. Nice upper tits, bro. Like, seriously, who the fuck is being fooled by this? Don't you remember back in the day? I know everybody here is about the same age, right? Like, we're within a decade of one another. Remember when drag queens and fucking transvestites used to, I don't know, put in an effort to look like the opposite gender? Now take a look at that, okay? Put in a lot of effort when it comes to the fucking eye makeup or the filters that are on that picture, but... <laughs> Honestly, the fucking sleeve tattoos, okay? That dude is never, ever, ever gonna pass. My fucking God. His shit is ridiculous. What a crazy situation. Oh, Lord have mercy. And to just follow up on another story we covered from, ooh, quite a bit ago at this point. Okay, I've been paying attention to this, and there's been some details that have been uh, working their way out, and I found this completely and utterly reprehensible. This is up there in Akron, Ohio, the hometown of LeBron James. And if this would have been, just to, just take a look here. Just do a basic thought experiment. Just do the race reverse here. Three, but, or three white guys beat to death a black guy. Or yeah, one black guy. Okay, this would be headline fucking news and LeBron James would be tweeting about it intermittently in between this china praise okay but he would be on full fucking blast because it's the off season right now okay but not word one about this patent obvious injustice suspects avoid murder charges in indictment for allegedly beating ohio teen to death yeah no exactly and the story it, when we last talked about it okay uh the kid right there the murder victim they were playing a game of pickup basketball, and then those three uh, upstanding youths turned up at the basketball court, and um, some of the victim's friends turned up in a vehicle, started uh, sp spraying with a water gun. Okay, it, one thing led to another, and he ended up with his brain spat or splattered all over the curb. Three suspects accused of beating 17-year-old Ethan Lemming of Akron, Ohio, to death of oh have avoided murder charges in a grand jury indictment. Unfucking believable. As Breitbart News has reported, Lemming was beaten to death on June 2nd in a parking lot at the I Promise School in Akron, founded by NBA sycophant LeBron James. Subsequently, 20-year-old Deshaun Stafford Jr., 19-year-old Tyler Stafford, and 21-year-old Donovan Jones uh, were arrested in Lemming's death and initially charged with murder, uh, to which they all pleaded not guilty. There's closed camera footage of you guys beating them to death. But again, that's, that's totally within your right. Grand jury indictment passed down lesser charges to the three suspects. Unfucking believable Deshaun Stafford was indicted on two counts of involuntary manslaughter and one count of aggravated assault, while Tyler Stafford was indicted on one count of involuntary manslaughter and assault. Jones was indicted on two counts of assault. Oh, what, was he just holding the camera or something? They feel... Fuck off about feelings. 
uh, they were made victims uh, when oh when their son was murdered and made victims again by the system. Uh, Lemmings family attorney uh, Mike Callahan of the Akron Beacon Journal oh told the Akron Beacon the Beacon Journal sorry. Uh, they are angry and frustrated. It's very difficult for them. Yeah, manslaughter charges. You beat them to death with your bare fucking hands and feet. Christ almighty. On the night of June 2nd, Lemming was in the vehicle with four other teens. Uh, the group, according to police reports, was driving around shooting a splat ball water bead blaster outside the vehicle. Okay, right. I got a couple of my details wrong. Uh, the youths were out there playing basketball at the court and then they decided to cause a ruckus because they seen a bunch of white kids driving around in the vehicle and they thought easy marks eventually the group pulled into the i promise uh, schools basketball court and started firing soft water air bead gel provoking an altercation with the groups who were at the court according to police not at them though not at them okay never seen any accounts or any reports of that they were just simply firing a water gun okay Eventually, the group pulled up and a fight ensued between two groups and sued. Oh, that oh is when police from the Stafford brothers and Jones beating Lemming until he was unconscious. Even after he was unconscious, police said the three suspects continued stomping and kicking Lemming in the head. How is that not third degree murder? How is that not? Stafford brothers allegedly drove Lemming's car away from the scene as Lemming's friends attempted to bring him to a nearby hospital. Meanwhile, Jones took the cell phone of one of the Lemming's friends and tried to call 911. Uh, when police arrived at the scene, Lemming was unresponsive. All three suspects are being held in some county jail on a million dollars bail. Fucking disgusting. Absolutely fucking disgusting. But again, because the racial demographic breakdown doesn't quite work out for anybody, you know, famous from being Ohio or being from Ohio, uh, setting up a school and this happening literally in the backyard. No, I wouldn't be talking about this at all. No, nope. absolutely ridiculous. Hopefully these youths get exactly what they fucking deserve and there's at least some sort of closure for the Lemming family and that shit makes me fucking ill. But with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. Hopefully you at least laughed at the first half of this because Christ, this was a little bit of a downer. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.